In this video, I'm gonna answer a question I got about my recommendations for saturated fat and whether or not it's okay for females to eat that much fat. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of my fat recommendations, I recommend about 0.5 grams of fat per pound of body weight. So a 200 pound individual would consume 100 grams of fat per day. That's for males and for females. And then when you break down the total of that fat, I recommend getting an even dose of saturated fat, monounsaturated fat, and polyunsaturated fat. So yes, even saturated fat is important in a healthy diet. Now for males, most of you guys know I recommend getting in ample saturated and monounsaturated fat because males who consume higher amounts of saturated and monounsaturated fat have higher testosterone levels. And testosterone levels are critical when you're trying to build muscle, increase strength, and lose body fat. Now, because I talk about fat and testosterone levels, a lot of females ask, well, is it the same for them? Because obviously, they're not going to expect a big boost in testosterone levels from eating fat. For females, my recommendations remain the same. Now, it's not for testosterone levels. It's for other benefits that come from all three major types of fats, saturated mono and polyunsaturated fats. Now, there's a lot of confusion about saturated fats. No, it is not the cause of heart disease. We're now finding that most of the research that pinned the smoking gun on saturated fat and heart disease really is not due to saturated fat. Most of the studies were either flawed or biased or both. Now, there's a multitude of other benefits of saturated fat. For starters, they can actually aid fat loss, particularly for females. In fact, research shows that females that are dieting, those that consume higher amounts of saturated fat, tend to lose more body fat. Saturated fat's also critical for calcium, getting into bones and increasing bone density. Higher saturated fat intake is also associated with higher uh, LDL large particles. Now the LDL, the low density lipoproteins, are sort of the bad cholesterol, but there's two different types of LDLs. There's bigger, sort of fluffy ones, as they call them, and there's smaller, more compact ones. Well, higher intake of saturated fat helps to produce more of those good LDLs, the bigger ones. And the more bigger ones you have, the lower your risk for heart disease. Saturated fat is also associated with higher high density lipoprotein levels. The HDL, this is your good cholesterol. You want higher amounts of this type, and saturated fat can help you reach that. So don't fear getting in too much saturated fat. Fear not getting in enough. Now, obvious sources of saturated fat come from beef, pork, dairy, eggs, and other animal products. And now don't forget the type of saturated fat that's in coconut oil. These are what's called medium and short chain triglycerides. They're shorter in length than the standard fats we typically get in our diet, which are known as long chain uh, fatty acids. And because of the difference in the structure, these types of saturated fats uh, don't get stored uh, as body fat and get preferentially used as fuel. Now monounsaturated fats, which are found in high amounts in nuts, olive oil, avocados, those have numerous health benefits that are associated with lower uh, cardiovascular risk, enhance uh, the functioning of blood vessels, and help to lower LDL and total cholesterol while raising HDL, the high density lipoprotein levels. Now with polyunsaturated fats, obviously we're looking at the omega-3 fats, but also the omega-6 fats. Now, the omega-6 fats are essential fats. However, the problem in most diets is that you're getting way too much omega-6 to omega-3, so the balance has to be better. If you simply focus on getting your omega-3s, you tend to get enough omega-6s in your diet, and that helps to bring that ratio down lower, closer to a one-to-one -one ratio between uh, those omega-3s to the omega-6 fats. And obviously, you'll get your uh, omega-3s from fatty fish like salmon, tuna, anchovies, and of course, my Omega Gym. Now I recommend getting most of uh, your Omega 3s from uh, fish source versus plant source because the plant source 
is not the omega-3, it's not in the form that the body recognizes and has to be converted. And that conversion can vary from person to person. So again, males and females, I recommend close to 0.5 grams per pound of body weight in fat, 200 pound person, it's 100 grams of fat per day. Out of that 100 grams of fat, somewhere around 33 grams of it should be saturated fat, another 33 grams from monounsaturated fats, and another 33 grams from polyunsaturated fats. Now the only fat you should avoid are the trans fats. Now trans fats have a little kink in them. They're basically fats that have been altered by man in the lab and therefore the body doesn't recognize them and they wreak havoc in the body. Muscle damage, they inhibit muscle recovery, uh, lead to heart disease, all types of other inflammatory factors. Avoid trans fats as much as you can. But don't fear your saturated fats, guys and girls. Keep those questions coming. I'll keep getting you those straight up answers. And as always, guys, stay gym army strong.